So I'm going to look at quoting within Simpro now. So up from the very top menu bar, we hover over quotes and go create new quote. So if you can't see that, it just means you haven't been given access and you'll need to speak to uh, one of your administrators or managers just to get access to the quotes module. And we've got a few different things happen here. So we can enter a customer in. Um, so if I just start typing a customer name, then it will search for customers in the system. If I don't have a customer, I can create a new one, and we've got some videos on that as well. So select a customer, and then select a site as appropriate as well. We then have cost centers within the system. So I'll say that this one's going to be a domestic quote, and we don't have a work order number or anything for it. So um, we'll put this in just for an example of a job type. Now, if you've got a particular salesperson, you can put them in here, and that will also help with certain things like commission reporting as well. So that's as much information as we need here. Be aware there is an optional tab. So there's some things here where we can change our labor rates, change material markups, and things like that. But for the moment, we'll just go back to main, and we'll just give this a save. So if we press next, that will take us onto the very next screen. So this is charged a call out fee through here because we've got one by default on that cost center, but we'll probably remove that in a minute because we don't want that on the quote. So you'll see at the moment this is a new service quote. Um, if I just press save again, just for the sake of doing this, then it will get a number. So it's now quote 102. Further down here, we can see a quote description. So there are two new units that I put in. And here there's a notes area, which is private notes separate to the area. So it might be a uh, full site visit, uh, maybe if there's an access code or something similar. Information in the middle here of what's been allowed in the quote, which is nothing at the moment. And then a bit of a timeline, a little bit like a kind of social network, a uh, timeline that will show when the quote was started, when items were added, when anything was done. So we'll work along the tabs quite quickly here. So settings is some of the things that we did just on the previous page, but we can change if we want to. So I can change the salesperson or change the cost center if I need to. Um, I've got a forms area where I can print a quote off, but I won't worry about that for the moment. Uh, quote attachments can be quite useful. So if you've been given any photos of the site or work orders or any information, you can just literally drag and drop them into here. So um, if I go here, for example, and go onto the desktop and just find a particular link, I could then just drag that into here, and then it will attach it up to the job, or quote in this case. There's a logs area, so that's not showing me anything at the moment, but that will show me when anyone creates the quote or saves it or updates it or accepts it. The main area that we want, though, is parts and labor. So here we've got the call-out fee. Um, I'm actually just going to remove that, so I'll just press on options and then go remove item. So now we've got no parts and no labor allowance. So looking across here, we can go into the catalog and we can go and find some items in the catalog and decide to put them on here to build the quote up. So this is us saying that we're gonna need certain things. So uh, I'll just go through here and use a few random items. Oops, sorry, wrong button. So we're gonna use an exhaust fan. Um, we're gonna have, so we'll have the exhaust fan. We'll have some flex conduit and we'll have a couple of fuses. And I'll just go add items. Now I can keep adding items here. I can search for product codes or product descriptions. So if I know a particular product code, so a wall plug, then I can add that as well and I'll add 10 of them. And you'll see if we go back to the billable tab, that this has started to add up what we're allowing for on this quote. So we've got the price that we buy for, our markup, and then the sell price. Now you can change either of these if you want to. So I could say, well, this item we want 100% markup on, or I could turn around and say, well, this one we want to just sell for $50, and it will work the markup back. Now note here that we've unticked, or sorry, we haven't unticked, the system has unticked this option, which is the default pricing. So um, if we wanted to, I can tick that back on, but what it's gonna do is it's gonna put our default markup on of 25%. So if I tick that back on, the 25% goes back on, untick it, and it doesn't remember what we put in. So be careful using this for particular pricing. Excuse my dog. Hi. Um, there's labor here, so I can say well, we maybe need four or five hours. So we need four hours of labor as well. 
And then we've got a whole load of items and four hours of labor for our quote. Hit save once again. And if I go back out to the details page, we've now got material cost, resource cost, and we've got a total quote of nearly $1,000. If I want to then get this quote to the customer, I just go to the forms page. Here I can pick whether I want to show itemized breakdown or anything similar. So I might say I'll itemize it, but without the prices. Hit view. And that will give me this quote. Obviously, this is customizable to your business, but you get an idea of the style of the quote. And if I want to send this to Bob now, I could just scroll down and hit send, and that will send the quote off to him.